All right, guys, welcome back to another project that I'm doing here on my good old channel, Late Nights, Early Mornings. Um, this is Marquita here. As I stated before, I am doing some spring cleaning and organizing, and the next thing up on my list is putting together this wonderful wine rack. So if you're wondering what all those metal parts and pieces are, it is the parts that will come together, hopefully, to become a beautiful um, wine rack. I would show you a finished picture, um, meaning what it should look like when I'm done. However, the people who did the mailing label decided that that was the best place to um, put the mailing label right over the final product picture. So what I can show you um, is the instructions so you can kind of get a little bit of a visual of what it should look like. It's kind of like a standing tower um, there and I'll try to maybe um, on my main picture have a display of the actual rack you know it came from Amazon it was I think $37.95 or something like that um, so roughly 38 bucks and it was a prime item or no it wasn't a prime item um, but shipping still came pretty quickly I got it within the same week that I ordered um, or within a week of ordering and although I purchased it because it originally said you know <laughs> It was already assembled. That was what I saw in some of the reviews. And I was like, oh, yay. People were like, oh, you only just have to pull it out the box. But alas, we see that's not the case for mine. So maybe some people's were. Um, they do sell different sizes in terms of how many bottles they hold. My particular rack will hold 23 bottles when it's finished. Um, also, please disregard the Reynolds wrap. I'm reorganizing <laughs> um, another part. That is what I use for some Cricut crafting. Um, things when you do the iron on that is another option so that's why I have the freezer paper back there it's just there for now it has nothing to do with the wine rack but either way um yeah so I am going to get to work on putting this together it says easy assembly um and I'm going to show you that it says here um it's effortless storage practical storage great for um any occasion and portable it is it will be black it also comes in a i think bronze color but that one was out of stock but black works fine for you know my house um again my host 23 bottles they do some i think they have one that's smaller that may hold 16 and then they have another one that's bigger i can't remember how many it held but the prices are different um according to the number of bottles that they hold um, if you have seen any of my other videos, you've probably seen the wine that is on my counter. And so the bottles need a home and I'm going to hopefully provide that home for them. And so I'm going to get to work putting this together. Again, the instructions say that it's pretty simple. Um, I also got an email, I think, cause sometimes if you guys have ordered from Amazon and you order things that need to be put together or just, um, from independent sellers sometimes they send your email with instructions or you know hey if you have any problems reach out to us type emails and so I got one that talks about assembly for this thing so hopefully um, this will be a pretty simple project it's not a lot of pieces it's only four pieces for the main part and the rest is just um, more the design and as you can see from even the steps it looks like it's only five steps so hopefully um, this will be a smooth process and I'll be back with the final product. So far, no tools have been needed. I'm just popping in these and just twist them on. And I do have plenty of screwdrivers. Um, like I mentioned before, I am working on um, several things. And some things come with the tools, like my shower caddy. I um, just had that little wrench where you screw in the 
pieces and then the um i just built one out one of my two ikea drawers that i purchased this weekend um so that video will be coming up soon when i get both of these done them together so i'm going to use a screw it does have the screws to attach this item here so this will be the carry handle and i'm going to go like this so you can start to see how the wine rack is going to look Good old Phillips head screwdriver. I recommend that everybody have one of these in their home. Because any, if you ever plan on buying anything that will require assembly, I can guarantee you it will probably be needed at some point. I'm just not a fan of assembly. Um, I'd rather pay someone for bigger projects. Something like this, obviously, I would just rather buy it already assembled. But as you can see, this is not really taking that much time. So I don't have a problem with putting it together. I just was expecting it to come already assembled based on the reviews. So other than that, I have no complaints on having to put this together. Um, as you can see, it's not taking very much time to do. We're about 10 minutes in since I started assembling this. And mainly because I'm talking to you guys. Um, if I was just sitting here, you know, really working on this, I'd probably be a little further along. So I would say maybe a 15 minute project at the most on this. Alright guys, I am back for the final leg. Let me try to adjust my camera a little bit. Um, I can show you what I have so far. So essentially, the line rack is together. I have all the bars. If you saw that I was having a little trouble getting one of the screws in, I figured out what it was. It's just the way that I was, the angle that I was putting the screw in. Um, I was hitting the top, so I just had to twist it in a little bit. So no issue. That was, as I call it, user error um, <laughs> when it comes to that. So I just changed the angle so you guys can hopefully see. Um, what I was about to do is put the finishing touches, I guess you could say, on this, which is the, um, this is more of like a decorative thing. These go on the sides here. Um, so... I will be adding those in. I don't think they require any screws because I don't have any more screws left. All the screws put the um, handle as well as the bars that are here um, on this both sides. So it's a very cute, good size rack. Again, it holds 23 bottles. Um, the brand is Sorbus Home, S-O-R-B-U-S Home. And I got it from Amazon, so I will link it down below. At the time that I purchased it, it was $37, and I think like $37.96. Um, we already know things on Amazon, the prices change, um, sometimes daily, and sometimes even in the same day they may change if they do promos or whatnot. Um, sometimes I think it's based on how many, you know, maybe they sell or whatever, so they may make it more expensive or cheaper. But um, I have no complaints with it so far. It feels pretty sturdy. I'm going to test it out because I definitely have 23 bottles to put in this right now. I'm going to sit it on my kitchen, um, in my kitchen. Um, that's the plan right now. I can't promise that's where it's gonna stay. Cause like I said, my living room is about to go um, through an overhaul. And actually that's probably gonna happen when I finish this, um, wrapping up this video. And, but for right now, I plan on putting this in my kitchen. Um, I have an island. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you've seen that. Um, and on each end, there's kind of like space where you can put like a trash can or something like this. So right now the trash can is there. I'm gonna put the wine rack here and move the trash can to the other side. Um, and my kitchen floor is towel so it should be pretty um sturdy there it has the feet on the bottom I saw earlier where i just screwed those in so it does have stability right now sitting on carpet because it's in my um, living room so it may end up in the living room depending on what my reorganization efforts 
produce. Um, I think this corner that you see over here with the printer and those two cubes, that's about to change. I'm thinking that my Alex drawer is gonna go there. Um, so if that is the case, that may cause some free space somewhere else. So like I said, the intended plan right now for this wine rack is in the kitchen, but it may end up somewhere else. Um, and if it does, I will definitely let you know. So as I stated, I'm gonna put in the last final touches, which are these kind of curvy things. And I think, to be honest, I don't think that I have to put these in if I just want to use this rack because it's sturdy, it's stable. This is more of just a design feature. Um, so you have a bunch of these. They're short ones and long ones. Um, and these are pieces G. And so pieces G go at the bottom. And I think they just pop into the holes that are there with the final product of my wonderful wine rack here. Um, I just finished adding these little pieces um, and they just pop in. They don't require any tools. Um, the only thing you need is a screwdriver for the um, handles, for those bars. That's the part that actually secures your wine rack in terms of giving it its stability. Um, but yeah, this is a good size wine rack. I will give you a different angle in a minute so you can see the top to bottom full of view when it's sitting on the floor. But it has padded feet, holds 23 bottles and then just the little designs on the side there those little bars so i would say assembly um you know i was talking to you guys and kind of looking at the camera while doing it so it slowed me down slightly but i would say that assembly for this probably would take you about 15 minutes maybe um and the most amount of time would be just screwing in those um the handles and the bars but it already feels sturdy i'm going to go ahead and get it set up and i'll show you what it looks like once it's in its final destination and we're back with the final product. As you can see, um, there's my island there, my kitchen. From the door, there's the island. Um, and this is my fully assembled wine rack. I'll get a closer look so you can see all the detailing. Um, this is the handle on top where you can lift it um, if you need to move it. And it's just sitting flat on the floor. You can see the detailing are these pieces here. Um, those just pop in and same as on this side and then the front angle here I'll stoop down so that you can see um, what everything looks like again 23 bottles and those are a variety of bottles from um, my wink wine membership um first leaf as well as some that i picked up from target total wines um just a variety of wines that I, that i like or are planning on trying i like white ziffindale you'll see a lot of or ziffindales in general you'll see a lot of them throughout um as well as moscatos i'm a sweet to semi sweet wine drinker so there you have it um again that is the sorbus home wine rack i will have it linked below i got it from amazon very easy to assemble i would say roughly 15 minutes and you're good to go for the most part everything just fits right in together five simple steps and you have a complete wine rack as you can see it's sitting on tile this my kitchen floor is made of tile but earlier when i was assembling it was on carpet and it was sitting just fine so i think you can work um, on wood tile carpet for sure um so any type of flooring that you may have it should be good to go all right <sighs> And I'm back again with a, another small project that I'm working on. You've already seen the Alex drawer, um, now the wine rack. And here we have what will be a pot holder for um, my new set of pots that I purchased probably the end of last year. Um, I just don't have any more cabinet space for them. So I purchased this nice little... Um, a rack which doesn't look like much of a rack right now um, from Amazon once again Amazon to the rescue and here's the box um, it is by the brand smart sum it's a pot and pan organizer rack you can actually sit it however you um, a couple of different ways you can sit it as you see in the picture where it's standing which is how I'm going to be using it um, because I am going to put it on my counter and then you can also use it the more traditional way where it sits um, up the long way so I'll show you that on the directions which are relatively simple 
um, you literally just pop the or slide the um, racks here into the placement on the this is the main base here and it is pretty heavy um, not heavy as in like can't lift but it's sturdy it's not some of the ones I've seen in like home goods or other places they're a little bit um, lighter weight but this one is a good um, decent weight metal so I think my pots aren't super heavy so I think that they will balance out well but you can see that has a little weight to it um, but the other way I was talking about is this way um, so here are the different ways that you can set it up um, you can have pots and pans on both sides which that's the probably the arrangement I'm going to use I think um, because I have like big pans I'm going to put on there or big pots rather like the um, like these that you would use for like your noodles and boiling and stuff so I'm probably going to have a setup that looks kind of like the picture on the box and then you can also have it where it's um, just on one side or you can have method C which is where it sits up and that would be probably if you just have more pans but I have the like a whole set um, literally like what's on the picture so that is the look that I'm going for so once I get it assembled I will come back with the final product and also show you what it looks like in use um, I do plan to sit it on my kitchen counter uh, because like I said I don't have any more room in my cabinets um, I do have pots and pans there as well and this was just a new set that I purchased and so I wanted to be able to store it properly so this should be a space saver and also an easy way to access these pots and pans so again this was I'll link it down below because like I said it came off Amazon when I purchased it I want to say it was like 20 or 22 bucks I can't remember off top but relatively affordable um, most of the ones I saw in like home goods or those type places they were roughly like 15 to 20 bucks so along the same lines and I would say probably a little more solid at least right now based on the weight of the pieces than those in there so I'll be back with the finished product all right guys before I um, zip through to the final product I did just want to show how simple it is to um, install the racks here um, this is I've already put the first one in as you can see that's the um, very lowest rack and this is the second one you only have two that have these kind of um, feet I guess if you will call them they are the bases so you only have two of those one this is the one with the deeper feet and then the one I've already put in is the one with the uh, not quite as deep um, so what we would do here, you simply, it's just squeezable. So you can see the rungs there. This one goes and it states in the instructions how they go. Um, you just pop it in like that. Make sure this one's in and that one's in. And there you go. You can see there, in there. And that's how you do all the racks. You can see it's stable there on both sides. And that is um, kind of like your base, so it helps keep it balanced. So that way, when you um, maybe move a heavier pot from one side, if you're doing, again, I'm doing the two-sided where I have pots on both sides. Um, when you move one, it doesn't throw the tower off balance. So that's something I saw that some people complain about with some of the other towers that I had looked at, is that it was too lightweight. So when you do shift things around, or if you pick up something from one side, um, like especially the heavier pots then it would offset and it might tip over if you have it freestanding like this one will be sitting freestanding on my counter so we don't want things tipping over when you move a pot or a pan so that is something I just want to show you just how easy it is to assemble you could probably do this in five minutes um, I'm just gonna figure out I need to look at my uh, cooking set and see how I need to arrange them in terms of how many things I need to have on each side and get the height right for the bigger pans. But then I'll show you the final product, but I just want to show how simple it is to just pop them in. And as you can see, that's how all of the racks are. They don't have the feet, obviously, because they'll be in the higher rungs, but those were my base supports and these go in the same way. And you just choose where you need them based on, um, you know your pots and pans height and size and the arrangement that you're going for so that's it very simple um to install easy to follow instruction so again i'll be back shortly with the final product all right guys i'm back with the final product of um the pot and pan holder it was a very simple process as you guys saw the um the racks pop right in place so no tools are needed to put that together um it came together great 
Um, I just used, I didn't even use all of the racks. That's my whole pot set that I was um, trying to fit. I doubled up one because these two don't have lids. They kind of share lids there. So um, I just used, put two in one on that one rack. Um, but I still had three racks left over here. Um, so that, you know, if I ever need to rearrange or if I wanted to add some more, I could. Um, and I got to keep the lids on, so that made it easier, so I don't have to worry about it. They are a bit dusty because they've been sitting um, kind of off to the side in a in my den area, not stored anywhere. So I'm going to wash the lids because they're dusty. <laughs> um, for whatever reason, my apartment gets super dusty, and no matter how much I clean or dust, I swear it looks like I haven't touched anything after about a week. So that annoys me greatly, and it's like that everywhere. I even found dust when I was redoing my closet, and I'm like, this is a closed room. There's not even a vent in here. Where's the dust coming from? <laughs> so I just, I give up on the dust. I'm over it, but um, I am going to wash those lids just so they don't look super dusty. Um, and what I use, as you can see, I kind of have like the marble countertops here. I care nothing about that because this is an apartment. I don't own it. Now, when I buy a house, I may want quartz and or marble. Um, but, you know, as a renter, as a regular, whatever, as long as it's a countertop, I don't really care as long as it's in good condition. But this is what the apartment that I have has. Um, so what I use to cover just so I won't have to keep cleaning, um, I had some what was sitting here before I put those pots and pans there was um, my Ninja blender and an air fryer and also a basket I'll show you over there that basket that has the Ziploc bag on the top where I have like some little snacks and uh, kind bars and other little goodies that's what I usually keep in there like crackers or things I can just grab um, so I'm going to find a new place for that it's actually a banana holder or it's supposed to be a, a basket with um, room for a banana holder so that's what that is um you see my kitchen aid mixer and all of that over there but what i did is i moved my um appliances that were over there because i don't use my blender and my um air fryer that frequently and also a crock pot was over here i don't use them as frequently like on a daily or a regular basis so what i did is just move them just excuse the mess because this is kind of like my doorway as you can see and that's where like all my Amazon packages and things go when they come in before I open them and sort them but um this rack here which came from I think Target um those three items were in that space where the pots and pans are now so I put um some it's non-adhesive contact paper just to give it because these are bars under here as you can see so it's not a solid just to give it that solid feel and I placed those three items on it and that's my ZZ plant that I picked up from Ikea this weekend um, I haven't found a home for it yet but for right now it's chilling where it is and it's happy um so for now it's there and I'm gonna keep working on this section but back over to this kitchen area I'm reorganizing that. So yeah, those are the pots and pans. Easy access, easy to reach. As you can see, it is very sturdy um, and it holds everything with no issues. My steam mop was falling down there. Um, and what I did is I put down on top of the counter and it's not because the metal I don't think was scratched up or anything, but just because I don't want to have to keep cleaning <laughs> the area because I will be hopefully moving from here in about three months. Um, or really like more like two months now. Um, I am trying to clean and preserve things a little better just because so I won't have so much to do at move out. I'm probably just going to hire a company anyway to come in after I move everything out to clean. I like to do that when I can, um, for move out. But the contact paper that I put down, it is not adhesive. So here's the roll. I purchased from my favorite shopping store, Target. Um, they have different colors and patterns. I like that kind of gray and um, white because it gives a little pop, but it's still kind of neutral. And this is the actual tag for it, the brand. Um, it's just called Contact um, Contact Brand. That's six square feet. Uh, they were $4.99 a piece. And it is non-adhesive, meaning that it doesn't have like 
a sticky like contact paper almost like a wallpaper or something it doesn't have that it just sits flat but it does have a bit of a grip so that it will stay in place it'll shift around a little bit you know from moving these things but um it'll stay flat it'll stay in place and it's just like what i have on the big rack where i put mood my appliances to that's just a different brand but it's the same type of thing non-adhesive and i'm also going to line my drawers that i got from ikea with this so i bought like three rows of this pattern and then i got the white one came in a, a huge row which was 9.99 so i think they're all online on target so i can link those down below like i said they do have other colors and patterns i just went with these because i thought they were cute and also they'll be lined in my drawers so i'm going to put that down but that's it i just want to showcase what the final product looked like again i'll link everything down below that is available um, the rack came from Amazon and the contact paper came from Target.